That is hilarious. Wow. Keep moving. You killed the dragon? Good. Oh, now kill the rest of them. Big damage increase. Yeah? Better be worth my time. There we go. Um. I guess I'll go with the beam rifle. Take care, my friend. Oh, Is the spit fire in the like a gun yes, or is yes, it like yes spitfire get that that's a that's the machine gun i'm using Dude, ready for action that huge beast craft a weapon using material from the defeated world boss oh thanks take care then you were gonna say something then I walked away and they're like, bitch, fuck you. I'd like to see your wares. The only thing about this Spitfire, just so you know, if enemies are on fire, um, or they're a fire type enemy, it they just resist do all damage. damage. Yeah, they just resist it all. So you just waste ammo. Don't be the waste ammo guy. I dumped two mags into one of the burning dudes during your uh, dragon boss fight, actually, before I realized Hello that. There, friend. Greetings, friend. Here you go. Um. That would definitely make me feel better. How much do I got? 401? Whoops. I'll buy Take four care, more of them blood words. There, 22! Alright, I got 20. I know, I need to... Actually, I th yeah, we're still gonna be in a bleeding effect area. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna take that off. I'm going to put on... Um, how do I do that? Oh. Assigned a quick select. Is that it? Uh, let's put that there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. What, uh, what's going on here? Down on the D pad because I figured if I ever need ammo, I, I just go in the inventory bag. You put swaps out with the hydro coolant. That way, I don't earn death. It says you left and oh, uh, session connection lost. Okay. Yeah, I was standing by the stone and I was trying to activate it, but it wouldn't let me in. I don't know. That was weird. I thought something was up because I opened up the party menu thing and it showed I was connecting to the party. Whoa. It says, uh, I just tried to join your session. It says the session does not exist. That was a ways. Let's try it from there. I could send you an invite. If it don't work join in like this, I might quit the game, restart it, and uh, do the... It's actually connecting now, so maybe it is throwing me in.
Nope. Okay. Let's get this up. Okay, so the Blue Jays have this young kid that just started playing in the major leagues, right? And his name is Bo Bichette. But sometimes when the announcers say his name, it kind of sounds like you're saying, like, the, it's like one giant word where it's like Bo Bichette. And I'm like, geez, if they ever have a Star Wars night and they don't make a Boba Fett joke, I'm going to be super fucking disappointed. And they're doing Star Wars night tonight, and I keep seeing uh, him dressed up in Boba Fett armor, so I'm just like, okay, you guys, you guys are good. You didn't miss the fucking opportunity literally being handed to you on a silver platter. Yeah. I should just... Yeah. <laughs> yes, he pulled the RV, he played in it. Uh... It took him three minutes in his first game in the Champions Hockey League over in Europe to score a goal. It was his second shift. Yeah. It was the Oilers. Well, it's th my thing is I think the Oilers don't know how to develop players, and by I don't think so, there's enough evidence to prove they don't know how to develop players. Like when players get injured and they need surgery because they wouldn't let Clefbaum get a surgery for a while, and they wouldn't let Puliarvi get a surgery during the season this year. So, like, I don't know what they're doing. Well, look at Taylor Hall, Jeff Petrie. Yakupov didn't go anywhere and do better. Eberle didn't do any better when he got to the Highlanders. But they don't know how to develop players. They ruined Pulleyarvi, and he's like 21. They ruined Yakupov. But then again, a lot of people were saying Yakupov shouldn't have went first that year anyway.
and need to be developed. Um, you're gonna have to mail me some boxers because I just ejected all over mine. Oh, this is not where we wanted to go. Pretty close to the uh, checkpoint. But yeah, like a line with. Oh God. Could you like imagine. David Tavares and Matthews? I was thinking um, Matthews, Marner, McDavid. Or, or you just do this Matthews, Ma Matthews McDavid, Nylander. And then you just leave Tavares with Hyman. Or Tavares with Marner. Yeah. But I feel like from time to time you would have to swap, you know, someone that's not Matthews or McDavid. Just swap them out with one of the second line guys, you know. Juggle it. See uh see what works best. Shotgun is OP. Oh my god. If you can withstand it's RB just running the enemies. It's RB special weapon mod right now. The what? RB is the weapon mod button? Yes. Um, you have all this area explored, right? Yes. Okay, take us to the nearest flashing red marker. So, like, where the stone thing would be? like from, uh... Yeah, the checkpoint. You swing. Watch my back! It's wild how much more accurate the parking rifle is. Watch my back. I don't know how you didn't hit me with the shotgun <laughs> yeah, right there. I don't either. I was aiming like dead center for the enemy too. And I was so far away. Oh, did you know run and sprint and then hold B. Yeah, B. Yeah, the slide. Yeah, I chuckled when I seen that. Okay. So. Gets the wailing. What is where we need to go back? That's where that tree was. Is there a fight tonight? Or tomorrow? Was it this week? I thought it was next week. Uh, yeah, I think it's next weekend. I think it's the 13th, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, there is a fight on tomorrow. There UFC is. fight night, Andrade versus Zhang. Oh, yeah. I don't think. I think that yeah, this is atrocious. a very good <laughs> I know one guy's name. Yep. One guy, so far. Yeah, there's the fight next to the Poirier and Coffee. Uh, check your map. Should I go talk to the tree? What about the map? Is there any, uh, un un unventured areas? 
So there's a bunch of dark kind of if we go to like if so if I'm facing this direction that's the tree which is directly north if we keep mm -hmm. going left there's a bunch of dark there and then the next left is dark as well so we need to go this way basically this way oh big dude oh big dude um, I guess we'll just, just kind of send it. Face? That guy with the red cloak looks new. Yeah, it's like armor and you gotta kill him a certain time after it goes down. Otherwise it'll just pop right back up like a couple seconds after you take it down. I was so confused the first time because I kept taking it down but I, I wasn't finishing him off because I was using the sniper rifle. So like, uh, finally when I switched guns I actually killed him. I love when I watch how they do with the fucking head down. And rewarding as hell. Right. Okay, so now this area is all... We've been here before. Keep going in this direction. Straight. Yeah, if we keep going that direction, we've been here. So we've already been down here. Yes. If we go back to where that big hole in the floor is here, this one, there's a little hallway to the right. On the right. That if we go down that path, it'll lead us what I'm assuming is south. <laughs> this alleyway here. Don't go any further. So on the other side of what this wall is here, there's like it's all darkness. Dark. If we go this way. And then go this way. Over yeah. It's all dark if we keep going this way on the map. Okay, good. Are we just exploring for the sake of exploring? Is this like, moving a forward? Forward, or story forward. Um, I believe this is to another dungeon. Um, Watch my back. I think this is the. No, I don't think this is the, the one with the two ladies that I was telling you about. Or maybe this is just one of the wraparound paths. Kind of. I don't want to say I'm lost, but. I'm not really quite sure where we are. Watch out behind this is him. The end. Just bushwhacked him. This is a lot of stairs, holy cow. Uh, anything good out here? Walkway. Every time you swing that thing, I think there's a bad guy. Yes. Right there. <laughs> Oh wow, I'm close to being dead here. Whoops. Thought 
there was a way out of there. I'm assuming all this is filled in for you. No, uh, if we keep going straight, it's all dark. Okay, I'm gonna need to start picking up some long ammo here. Okay. Yeah, I got plenty. Long dong ammo. The red glowy buckers on the floor. Chop off. <laughs> What's that white little fish on the bottom of my screen that just popped up mean? Does that mean we're in conflict? My dumbass died because I'm using that fucking full auto thing. I'm shooting them with the one two punch. I'm down by the way. I'm yeah. Here. That goes over the next building right there. Okay. Looks like we're going over the next building. Mm. Oh, here we go. This is where we were. This is the chest I see. Gonna kill me. So this like section ahead of us is, is dark, like on the left. There's more long rifle ammo. Okay, I'm good. If the checkpoint's flashing, does that mean I haven't been there before? Uh, I think they all flash no matter what. I think that's how the only way you can uh, differentiate them from the doors. At least to me. 
Whoa. Two guys, two boats, two depth. So that was open, so we just Yes, we've made one big giant circle. There is one section though we didn't check in a corner of. Uh where's that? So that like the north east corner. There's the northeast corner there where there's like an exit next to where one of the checkpoints is. There's also, like, when we first went straight down through that big section, there's a corner in the bottom right that we didn't check. It's all black. It looks like it's a building. So, like, from the top section where we are, the middle section, there's three, like, which part in there? What do you mean, three? So, like, if we were to go, like, we're in the top left-hand corner right now, right? So, if we were to go straight down and then go right, all the way in the bottom right-hand corner, there's a little, like, it's a straight 90-degree corner, and that, right in that corner on the bottom is all dark. And then up right next to it, there's, like, it's a solid line. Like, we couldn't go from there right anymore. We'd have to go up to get to the other part. That makes any sense. Um, <laughs> no, I am, I am so confused. Like, uh, if no, we I... walk back there, will all the enemies we killed respawn, or? Uh, no. As long as we don't touch a uh, checkpoint. Okay, let's go back. But then again, it could be an area like over here where we haven't gone this time, but we went previously. So there could still be enemies there. Then again, sometimes enemies just run up from an area I just came through and I knew was empty. So you never know. This game is unpredictable like that. 